Hello, welcome back sa discussion natin for today. Handa ka na ba na pag-aralan ulit natin ang iyong nursing theories for today? I will give you a thorough discussion, a deeper dive about your nursing theories. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvan. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos to two three times in a week. Don't miss it out. Subscribe now. You hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Kumusta kayo, nurses? Another nursing theory discussion nga po ang alay ko sa inyo. This is the second video under our nursing theory playlist. Na kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung very first video natin about sa nursing theories, I'll be putting the playlist, the actual playlist and the actual video on the description box. So simply click this icon button kapag nagpop out yan. Na, continuation nga po ito mahabang nursing theories. At kung meron ka pa mga concepts and nursing theories na gusto mong gawa natin ang lecture, i-comment mo na yan sa baba. But for today, we are gonna do a deeper discussion about your nursing theories. The components, the importance, why is it essential, why are we studying nursing theories, and some other good stuff. Now, in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, hi nurses! Welcome sa ating formal discussion ng yung Nursing Theories, Theoretical Guide to Nursing Theories Part 2. Yes, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung ating very first video about sa Nursing Theories, yung first entry natin, I'll be putting it, uh, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the icon button pag nagpop out yun dyan, i-check out mo yun, or check out mo lang yung nasa description box, nandun siya lahat, and some of my other um, playlists in nursing, okay? Now, this is another playlist of Chanako where I discuss about nursing theories. I know that this is really one of the challenging, if not 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 everybody likes this but you guys we need to understand nursing theories because ito yung ating basis and this is a really a good way for us to appreciate the fact that we have our own body of knowledge which is nursing okay so handa ka na ba let's begin so kagaya ng dati umpisahan natin ang ating discussion with our objectives ano ano ba yung may expect mo sa video discussion na to well we're going to have the components of nursing theories. We're going to answer the question, why are nursing theories important? And lastly, the purpose of nursing theories. Okay, wag na natin patagalin pa, simulan na natin ito. First up, components of nursing theory. Sa slide na ito, tatalakayin natin ang mga sumusunod. Phenomenon, concept, definitions, relational statements, and assumptions. Okay? Now, for a theory to be a theory, it has to contain a set of concepts, definitions, relational statements, and assumptions that explain the phenomena. It should also explain how these components relate to each other. Yan ang tatalakayin natin sa mga susunod na slides. All right. Number one, phenom number one talaga, pero yung pinakauna natin, phenomenon. Now, a term given to describe an idea or responses about an event, a situation, or process, a group of events, or a group of situations. Phenomena may be temporary or permanent. Nursing theories focus on the phenomena of nursing. Malinaw sa'yo yon, Malinaw. Next, concepts. Now, interrelated concepts define a theory. Concepts are used to help describe or label a phenomenon. There are words or phrases that identify, define, and establish structure and boundaries for ideas generated about a particular phenomenon. Concepts may be abstract or concrete. Ano to? Pag sinabi mong abstract concept, nurses, ito siya. This is defined as a mentally constructed independent of a specific time or place. Pag sinabi mo namang concrete concepts, these are directly experienced and related to a particular time or place. Concrete and abstract concepts. Okay? Next, 
when you talk about definitions, definitions are used to convey the general meaning of the concepts of the theory. Definitions can be theoretical or operational. Ano to? Nalilito ka na ba? Pero pag sinabi mong theoretical, baby, ang ibig sabihin niya, it is defined as a particular concept based on the theorist perspective. Kung sino yung nursing theorist na yun, bawa si Florence Nightingale, kung ano yung perspective niya, that's what you call theoretical definitions. Pag sinabi mo namang operational definitions, this states how concepts are measured. Ibig sabihin, meron ka dyang standard, meron kang, uh, tag dito, uh, parameters of measurement. That is your operational definitions. Okay? Next up, you have your relational statements. Now, relational statements define the relationships between two or more concepts. They are chains that link concepts to one another. Once again, that is your relational statements. Relationship. Now, assumptions. So when you say assumptions, these are accepted as truths and are based on values and beliefs. These are statements that explain the nature of concepts, definition, purpose, relationships, and structures of a theory. Once again, that is your assumptions. Okay, next slide na tayo. Why are nursing theories important? Mm, bakit nga ba siya mahalaga? Oh, alam ko nababagot ka na pero importante ito maniwala ka. Sasagutin natin yan dito. Now, Nursing theories are the basis of nursing practice today. I want you to remember, take a look at this. Basis of nursing practice today, ngayon. In many cases, nursing theories guides knowledge development and directs education, research, and practice. Historically, nursing was not recognized as an academic discipline or as a profession. We view it today. Before, nursing was considered to be a task-oriented occupation. So unlike dati, malaki na yung tinakbo ng nursing kasi dati, ano lang siya eh, task-oriented occupation. Alam mo yun? No, wala talaga siyang, kumbaga, tinatawag nating academic discipline where you get bachelor's degree or something like that. So, more on task-oriented. But now, we do have bachelor's degree. Meron pang ang man, meron pang MSN. Kasi nga, ngayon, malaki na inunlad niya and it is now considered or recognized as an academic discipline of a profession. Okay? Now, what is the purpose of nursing theory? Sa mga susunod nating slides, tatalakay natin kung ano yung purpose niya sa academic, discipline, sa research, and sa profession. Now, the primary purpose of theory in the profession of nursing is to improve practice by positively influence the health and quality of life of patients. Nursing theories are also developed to define and describe nursing care, guide nursing practice, and provide a basis for clinical decision-making. The accomplishments of nursing in the past led to recognition of nursing and academic disciplines, research, and professions. Okay. Now, in academic, now much of the earlier nursing programs identify the major concept in one or two nursing models. Organize the concepts and build an entire nursing curriculum around the created framework. The unique language in these models was typically introduced into program objectives, course objectives, course descriptions, and clinical performance criteria. The purpose was to explain the fundamental implications of the profession and to enhance the status of the profession. Next, you have your in research. What is the purpose of nursing in nursing um, theories in research? Development of theory is fundamental to the research process where it is necessary to use theory as a framework to provide perspective and guidance to the research study. Theory can also be used to guide the research process by creating and testing phenomena of interest. To improve the nursing profession's ability to meet the societal studies and responsibilities, there need to be a continuous reciprocal and cyclical connection with theory, practice, and research. This will help connect the perceived gap between theory and practice and promote the theory-guided practice. Mm, that was mouthful. Okay, now how about in the profession? Now, clinical practice generates research questions and knowledge for theory. In clinical setting, its primary contribution has been the facilitation of reflecting, 
questioning and thinking about what nurses do because nurses and nursing practice are often subordinate to powerful institutional forces and traditions the introduction of any framework that encourages nurses to reflect on question and think about what they do provide an invaluable service Yes, nurses, thank you so much nga po sa panonood. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for my nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do or to add in our nursing uh, theories playlist. I-comment mo na sa baba. Abangan nyo po yung mga next nating uploads about sa nursing theories and more upload or iba ko pang uploads regarding sa nursing kasi upload natin sila sa mga susunod na araw. Maraming maraming salamat nga po. Na-appreciate ko po kayo lahat. Thank you po sa inyong overwhelming support. We've been really, really growing and none of that will happen if it wasn't because of all your love and support and trust in my channel or in me. Okay? Sorry. So, maraming maraming salamat po. And kung hindi ko pa kayo napapasalamatan, welcome. O hindi ko pa kayo na-welcome. Welcome sa Team Kulto, ha? Welcome ka, Kulto. Ito na nga. Help me out. Spread spread the news about my channel. Pamalita mo na. I-share mo na para mas marami pa tayong matulungan na mas marami ka pang makitang videos kagaya nito. Pamalita mo na sa mga friends mo, ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh, at pinaka-libreng Nursing Review Center sa balat ng YouTube. I'll see you again next time. Have a good one. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. You let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlist I created for you. I will be putting the links on the description box. Just simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave. I will see you again.